I'm saying? In the fight, one thing I did know, all I got to do is make it to the fight. Like, mm-hmm. in the fight, I'm not worrying about it because we... This is this is this is the rematch. The first fight, I felt I dropped them in the twelfth round. Right. I felt like I did enough to win the fight. They I felt like you won that fight, me personally. Right, right, right. They didn't give it to me. Don took it. So now in the rematch, they made me work harder. You know what I'm saying? The first fight, I got paid what one point two million. Uh-huh. The second fight, I got paid a hundred thousand dollars. Wow, this is no joke. Everybody know that I took the fight. A hundred thousand dollars. They say you. They said, "Well, you know, because I begged Don for the rematch." I said, "Don, come on, man. They cheated me, man. You know that's. Like, I could beat that boy. I could knock that boy out." Don said, "Listen, man. You got. I gotta go through a lot of stuff, man. You gotta." So they they made me go win a fight first. I mm-hmm. went. I fought a fight. I won a fight. Did a good guy. Top ten fighter. Washed him first round, first second round. Washed uh-huh. him. Got rid of him. Came back for the rematch. I said, "What's up, now? He said, "All right." Under some stipulations. I said, "What's that?" They said. We only got a hundred thousand dollars. As they started with, they started with that a hundred thousand dollars. I said a hundred thousand. What you talk about? Is this real? Like, After uh, you just like, made one point three. I just made one point two million. What you talking about? You just gave me one point. Yeah, yeah, but that was before you was you know coming in. You was, I right, okay, no problem. Hundred thousand. I'll take that. Okay, and it's got to be in his in his hometown. Now you know me. I'm, and what? What's yeah, the I think we could fight in. In right. his mama kitchen, I don't, you know, kid. You know, at the time, that's my man now. You know, what I'm yeah. saying at the time, I was like, "What? I don't care where we go." Mm-hmm. And they said, "Okay, uh, doom." Then they did some other stuff during the fight week. They said, "Um, you knock a lot of guys out with those gloves on. You can't wear those." What? You gotta wear what he's wearing. What? It's my first time ever in my life. Putting on the Grant gloves, and and, and I thank Corey Spence because me and Grant we be good friends and everything. And I knocked him out with his own gloves on. You know what I'm saying? Like Even more bird, epic. this is Even all more real. Epic. Shit. This is behind the scenes shit that nobody ever seen the witness, and they didn't know about. Right, because as a casual fan, you don't know this yeah, is they, going on. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. So now, mind you, let's go back to the hotel fight week. We in uh, we in the hotel and all that. Nice star, you know, nice five star hotel, safe. They got to put it because this this in our contract. We got to keep the fighters safe. Mm. We in the hotel. I'm checked in under a different name. I never check in a hotel under my name. Not why I check in under Zab Judah Fight Week. In a ho- no, it's just right. it's dumb. I check in under another name. People call him my room going, I'm pick up, hello? I'm going to kill you, motherfucker. Like, like the real big, like the real, the real. Like yo, the Joe, Malcolm X, like, like in the like movie, the, like, like the real, you going to be son, one son, red dead. Like, son, son, this is real talk. Pops and Abe, a lot of people that was there, like, they, they can say this is real shit. So you know we had to double up. We they sent the tour serious. bus. We sent the tour bus to Brooklyn. Got ganged it up. Uh-huh. Everybody came down. We, you know, what I'm saying we did some stuff that was, you know, what I'm saying we could have got in trouble for it right uh-huh. now if, if it was back then. You know, what I'm saying, and uh, we got through with it. But I had to arm myself in a situation that would make sure that everything right. was, uh, everything, went, everything was solidified. Bottom line, you know, what I'm saying my mob ties decided with you know with me, you know, the mafia. Tapped in with him. He said, don't worry about a thing. Just keep go out there and do what you do. Relationships. We in the building. Relationships, you know what I'm ladies so, you and know gentlemen. What I'm saying? Uh-huh. I was in the building and uh, we had we turned up and turned out. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I worried about, because at the time when I fought Corey Spinks, St. Louis was known as the number one for murder rate. They mm-hmm. was known for killing my you think they could care about ride by and double and zap whole click kill everybody? Man, shout out to my guy Rip the General, man. Yeah, he brought, yeah. brought us to St. Louis a few times. I know St. Louis. St. Louis is I different. I know how they get down. They get down sure. different, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, for the fact that I was like, yo, man, it's a boxing match. Let us go in there and handle we handle. He yeah. beat me, he beat me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I beat yeah. him, I beat him. What's up? This is fitness. All right. So after the that. fight, how was it? Did, did, you, did you gain the respect? Did oh they, yeah! Did you get up so, out of there no problems or got, no? So after you know what I'm saying, so what we did was smart. So we stayed across the street from the hotel. Mm. Upon going in, they wanted to drive us over there. We said no. Cause we, what we wanted to do was some real Brooklyn. Shit. We feel in numbers we strong. Mm-hmm. We all said we all at, at a certain time. I don't know. I can't remember the time. Eight o'clock. Everybody meet in the lobby. We walking over to the arena. That's how we went to the fight, and that's how we got back. We all walked there. We walked back. You know, and it was like, I ain't gonna lie, it was about like 300 of us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Walk to the hotel, walk back. And you know what I'm saying? And we stayed together and everything and was, was good, man. Was, you know, was coming, coming back was a super celebration. Going there was like, you know, it was like going to the funeral. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, you know, we militant. We going, going there like, we going to take some shit. Like, we going, everybody going into the facility is not laughing with us. They're not, <laughs> they're not smiling with us. Nobody, nobody's cool with us. Like you Nobody, said, you there to take their crown. Yeah, he was the champ at yeah, that they, time. They looking at us like, 
You know, and we like, you know, we got our military shit on too. Like, we don't give a fuck about none of that. Right. We Brooklyn and we going strong. What it is, you and know what I mean? We need that. We need that. We need belt. them straps. Boy, we coming to take everything. That's what we known for. And we coming to do that, you know? And I was prepared mentally and physically. 